Alright, what's going on people? It's your boy Theo here and this is a real talk. So I've spent the morning watching Harry and Meghan's interview on Netflix. And when I say interview, it's actually a documentary. I don't know why I said that, but it's a documentary. So I've I've watched the first three episodes of it. There's six in total. The other three I will drop um next week. So um yeah, I'm gonna be um talking about that. But I'm looking I'm just talking about my own feelings about the first three episodes. So it's clear to me that Harry and Meghan are both in love. They're both clearly in love. Um, I think, obviously, they both come from different um, backgrounds. Um, different backgrounds, but, like, it's... it, it they, When they were brought together and how they kind of, you know, how they kind of made it happen... Um, was kind of interesting. They even talked to each other on Instagram. I thought that was quite kind of modern, to be honest. I thought that they would meet meet in a party somewhere or whatever, but they 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 did it in that way, which is quite rather interesting. Um, but yeah, they kind of um, they they kind of uh, they, they kind of blossomed, and you know they were able to be chilled with one another and everything. So even though even though obviously. Harry was um, obviously dealing with a lot um, with the paparazzi and everything else, and obviously bringing Megan in, bringing Megan into that world and and everything else. It was tough. Um, I can see that. I can definitely see that. And then um, Megan went with it and everything else. Um, um, also, the the episodes did focus on on Megan a little bit as well. Do you know what? I think that I can see her as a fun, um, vibrant woman. Um, I see him, I see her as cool, you know. I, I do think that she's cool. Um, I do think that. I I know that a lot of people won't agree with me, thinking that, oh, she's this, that, and whatever. But I, I don't see that from, from the documentary. I don't see that. I, like, from her friends and her relatives talking about her and saying that they did this together, they did that together. And I thought, you know what? That's kind of cool, you know. That's kind of cool. And it's something that I wish to kind of be inspired by, just having that kind of that fun, vibrant personality, you know what I mean? I mean, I know that my life is more or less depicted on social media and everything else. But the main thing what I try to do is make sure that I'm the same online as well as offline i've made that promise made that very very clear because that's who i've always been um but yes the, the but yes um it's interesting how they did that very very interesting um they was talking about race and obviously they talked about a brexit the death of stephen lawrence and like how it's so factored into um into uh the culture uh, the culture of this country let me tell you something. See, when it comes to race, I've I've done videos talking about it, and people always say to me, "Oh, you're always putting the race card because you got people saying that you don't know what race is and all that stuff." But, but you don't know until in, until it affects someone, it affects someone you know, or it, or if you're really black, you would know, but. I don't know, we're never going to get down, we're never ever going to see the end of racism. We're never ever going to see that, and I've accepted that. No matter how many times I've actually talked about race and everything else, I don't think we will see the end of it. I've spoken to a lot of people who's talked about that, uh, talked about that and I'm just like, even they can understand, and even they can see uh, going past the race, you know, Yes, Meghan Markle is biracial. You know, she's mixed race. I've got four mixed race cousins. You know what I mean? And 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 I and 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 to me to and to be honest, right? I've looked beyond the fact that that she is mixed race. I looked beyond the fact that she is that. You know. I just see it for I just see it for how she is as a person. She wants that if she. It's like, yes, yeah, she would like, she's been in Hollywood and all that, but she would rather go to 
Botswana or Rwanda or places like that to go and volunteer and spend time with and everything else. And I and I really kind of commend that that she wants to go and be an activist. She wants to go and uh, go and actually um, do something to actually help people. And I rate that. I rate that. I, I rate that. And when I do videos, I'm kind of the same. When I when I um, post up videos or social media or anything else, it's not just so much I'm talking about myself. I talk about the world around me. I talk about other people who I'm interested in or, and I can get opinion on and everything else. And I do it out of out of care. And I don't try to do things because I'm doing it for the likes or whatever. That's secondary. Being caring, being that person that cares is the most important thing in the world to me. And anybody that knows me can tell you, tell you the same thing, that I've always been that person that just cares, always. So, yeah, you got you got that element that was going on. I think it's really, really sad that we're seeing the um, the division that's caused um, among the royal family, Meghan's family. Uh, I'm, like, it's very, very sad how that's all, um, how it's all going down, to be honest. And um, and also, let, let, let's not let to mention the um, the paparazzi has got to play a part in this as well. Um, what was really so? What was really sad was I saw that vi that video in which um, Diana was speaking to the press and asking them to leave them alone on a skiing holiday, and the guy was still filming them. And I was just like, and and when she was that that really that really it's so sad in me. That really sad in me because. The guy turned around and says, "Like, no, no, no. What, we, what I like to do is, I like to see you come down the the the, the skiing downhill, um, and then we'll leave you alone. But no, because if you're gonna do that, you're gonna film everything, everything else, and that's an intrusion on privacy. Sometimes you just gotta leave them alone. You gotta like, just back off a little bit, right? Not everybody had not not everybody. I don't read glossy mags and all that stuff, and I couldn't really care less about where they, these people go, who they meet, all that stuff, right? I couldn't care less about that. That's not sort of me that does that. But they'll do these for a living, and they like the 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 hype around it. They like the 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 thrill of it. You know what I mean? Just having to find who where, where the person's going take them as much pictures as they can send them to the um the nearest press or, or the nearest press or tv companies that will give them a huge bunch of money and then they run with it and and everything else and i'm just there going like really really look i, I always talked about fame but even that is just even that's low that's low to even go to somebody's house just to stay there just to get something of them and everything else um you know or going into the the rubbish bins to go and see what they got or whatever like i'm thinking that's just good it's just crazy really 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 crazy so yeah i don't know uh i don't i, I don't know we've got part two coming up in the next week so we'll unpick that um I don't know what's going to happen from that. I guess, I guess when we watch all six of that, that's when I can sit down and can really, really give my overall view on on everything. Yeah, and I think the reason for that is just because I think in a way it, it's because it's fair. I mean, you can look at them and say to them, "Okay, they're getting eighty million from Netflix to." work with them to produce content for them and all that sort of jazz and you know leaving the royal family is taking a lot to do that and whatever because you do see the, the royal family in its traditional forms and and everything else but yeah i don't know i, I don't know how this is all gonna go down um next week to see how everything is kind of unfolded but when i do watch all all six of the, the episodes i watch three but like the other three to come and from there, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen from there. Um, but right now, 
I do feel very, very sad that it's come to this. I do. I do. Because William and Harry were very close. And now they're branching on to different lives. I mean, I've got a brother and, and, and I'm very close with him and everything. Um, but still, I could not, like, I can't live without my brother. I couldn't live without him. Even though, you know, we're both doing different things, still have that maintain that closeness. I don't know what's happening with William and, and Harry as well. But really and truly, it's just sad how this is all, all being put together and everything else. But we'll see. So if you like this video, like it, subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, how did you find the first three episodes? Let me know. And uh, I'll be back soon. Um, and I will be doing a video talking about the um, the next three episodes. So, uh, yeah, look out for that. So, uh, yeah, in the meantime, people, um, hope to see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. I'm out. Peace.